let's get simplifying. In this question, we can write the first brackets as 2x minus 3 times 2x minus 3. And then we're minusing 2 times 3 minus x, 3 minus x. Right, first bracket. I'm going to do it slowly. So we're going to get 4x squared. We're going to get minus 6x minus 6x plus 9. The more you practice these, the more quickly you can just like look at it and say, oh, it's going to be 4x squared, and I'm going to get two lots of this minus 6. That's going to give minus 12x, and then a plus 9. Of course, I've still got this other one to deal with, and I'm going to have the 2, and this time I'm going to show you how you can do it more quickly. So we can do 3 times 3. We can do 3 times minus x minus 3x, but I'm going to get another one, minus 6x, and I'm going to get plus x squared. Now, when I um, come to the next line, like I've tidied this one up, um, I've already done it here. I've already kind of, you know, tidied it up. So now I need to get rid of this 2. I need to multiply it out. So I've got to be really careful because it's a minus 2. So it's going to be minus 2 times 9, minus 18. Minus 2 times minus 6x. That's going to be plus 12x. This is the place where you're most likely to make a mistake. And then minus 2x squared. And now we just need to bring it all together. So I can just add the like terms. I'm going to get 2x squared. Um, oh, I've got the minus 12x and plus 12x. They're just going to cancel. And then 9 minus 18. So it's going to be minus 9. That's my answer. In the second part, we're asked to find the coefficients of x cubed in the expansion here. I'm going to write it out again. Now, if you're really unsure, you could expand the whole thing out. But there's going to be quite a lot of terms. There's going to be nine terms in this. And so I'm going to show you how we could do it a quicker way. We're only interested in the coefficient of x cubed. That is the number that goes in front of x cubed. So how can I get that? Well, I can get it. I'm going to start from, the, from this bracket on the left-hand side. I can get it if I do 3x squared times minus 2x, because that would give minus 6x cubed. How else can I get it? I could get it if I do, well, no, I can't. I can't get it um, from the minus 3x. There's no nothing I can multiply by over here. So the only one that will give me a coefficient is here. And I'll get minus 4x cubed. I'm not interested in the rest of it because I'm only asked for the coefficient of x cubed. So this is equal to minus 10x cubed. And the coefficient is therefore simply minus 10.